Hello and welcome to the lecture on approach to hypoglycemia. Uh, first, we should know that what is hypoglycemia. Actually, hypoglycemia, the sugar level uh, lower than normal is hypoglycemia. When we see patients with uh, symptoms like uh, sweating and uh, feeling hungry, confused, or sometimes their difficulty in speaking in the hypoglycemic patients so uh, now first uh, we do rule out is uh, the patient is diabetic or non-diabetic in diabetic patients because uh, there is uh, high sugar levels first we uh, need to reduce the sugar levels um, so the diabetic patients are on a treatment with insulin, sulfonylurea or other drugs uh, which are causing reduced sugar level in the blood. So we don't need uh, further evaluation in that patients. We just monitor uh, the patients and just adjust uh, the treatments in diabetic patients with uh, low sugar levels. Further, the patients who are non-diabetic, uh, we do the the two things first we use uh, the clinical values for example besides the drugs insulin uh, many other drugs who are lowering sugar levels we rule out them sometimes organ failure and sepsis hormone deficiencies and non beta cell tumors we also cause low sugar levels and sometimes there may be gastric surgeries in patients due to which sugar is not absorbed or uh, sometimes the carbohydrates are not absorbed from the uh, stomach so we uh, use and provide adequate uh, glucose to that patients and uh, we try to cure and treat the underlying uh, causes in the patients so first uh, then what we do further uh, if the patient is healthy there is no underlying cause and the patient is non-diabetic we go and check the fasting glucose if the fasting glucose is less than 55 milligram per deciliter what we will do I will talk uh, in the next uh, algorithm picture and if the uh, fasting glucose is more than 55 we go and check the history if the history is strong for example patient is not uh, taking food from hours uh, so what will we do when the history is weak for example patient is, uh, patient is doing uh, good and taking uh, his food for example one hour ago I just took so what we will do in that patients in next picture I will talk about further well, uh, in this picture, we explain more about the approach to hypoglycemic patients. So we took the history of patients who were apparently good. If the patient's uh, history is suggestive for the extended fast, then we check the glucose levels. And if the glucose level is more than 55, so we will go and check Whipple triads. So we should know that what is Whipple triad. We uh, mostly diagnose the hypoglycemia through the Whipple triad. First, uh, we check the fasting sugar. Uh, if it is uh, less than 55, and if there is symptoms of hypoglycemia like um, feeling lethargic and uh, there is trembling or sweating and if the sugar level is uh, increased instantly when we uh, inject IV glucose then this triad is people's triad so uh, then we check insulin and if the insulin is increased plus there is Whipple triads means the glucose level is less than 55 milligram per deciliter we then check the uh, C-peptide that is the part of the uh, th that is a structure of the uh, glucose so C-peptide uh, if it's increased then we go if there is insulinoma 
in the uh, in the livers or there is autoimmune antibodies there are that are not allowing the the body to secrete the uh, glucose so also uh, if their patient is taking sulfonylurea to decrease the sugar levels to prevent diabetes so if uh, the c peptide plus vipertroids and the insulin is increased and the c peptide is decreased we uh, go and check if there is exogenous insulin means patient is uh, having some drugs in diabetic conditions so this all were about the conditions of hypoglycemia and the approach step by step means how we go and exclude and rule out other diseases and just approach to the uh, hypoglycemia and we do the differential diagnosis of hypoglycemia and the patients who are having decreased glucose levels with um, for example confusion or other hypoglycemic conditions. Mm -hmm.